Hey guys, I'm Natalie and today I'm going to be going through my Saint Laurent collection. I did this about two years ago with my Givenchy collection and I feel like it's been a while and it's something that I've been enjoying watching on YouTube so I thought it would be fun to do it on my channel. So let's jump into it. You guys have seen these before on my channel. I have these white canvas court shoes in the high top and in the low top version. I know it's insane to have the same shoe in two different styles, but I do wear these a lot and I find that both of them serve such a different purpose. This is more of my summer shoe and it's also something that I love to wear when I'm wearing like a crop pant or something like that. I wear these a lot with loose pants, which is weird because you can't really see the high top. Oh, these ones I also wear a lot with my essential sweatpants and I never wear my sweatpants with the little low tops. I have a thing for St. Laurent platforms. It started with this boot. I had gotten them and it felt like my friends and my mother had disapproved so I ended up returning them only to regret it. Bought them back again when they were on sale. I wore these so much that you can see I've pretty much worn out the heel. The front toe is completely scratched up. I remember wearing them to the airport on the streets of New York just like everywhere I was going and I had a blast with these shoes. I could pretty much tell you where I purchased all of the things in my closet and I can't remember where I bought these for some reason. And then I also have these here. I think this is the candy and I believe that these are the Bianca platforms. These are great to have. They're a bit more dressy than these like if I'm going to an evening event but I love platforms. <laughs> These were my very first Saint Laurent pair of shoes. They are the baby cat loafers. They are studded and they are just really cool. I still wear them. They're also very comfortable. To be honest, I haven't worn them in a couple of years, but they're the kind of piece that I definitely want to keep in my collection. It just feels like a shoe museum type of piece. It's like a 1970s rock and roll chic piece that is just like the coolest thing ever. This is something that I will most likely never ever part with. I don't know if you can see it says YSL at the side here. They're really beautiful taupey brown so they pretty much go with everything and I wore these ones a lot when I first got them especially since it was summertime and they looked so great with like skinny jeans. I think it would look really great with dresses but I'm not really a dress person so I just kind of style them however works for me but I haven't worn these in a while. I'm not getting rid of them though because I know that this cowboy aesthetic is going to be coming back at some point and it's something that I will always love. And going on with the cowboy theme, I have these really cool black suede star boots. I think I got these around the same time that I got my taupe ones and again I just wore them loads and they're going to be sitting on my shelf until the time comes for them to make their return. I bought this on a trip to New York. We meandered over to the St. Laurent store because that was on my agenda and I found this little wallet on a string. I've used this so much, gone everywhere with me. I don't even know what that is. Napkins, little area for card slots over here. This is probably one of my most worn bags and they don't produce this one anymore. It is showing a little bit of wear and tear but considering how much I've actually used this bag, still in really good condition. I didn't realize at the time that I bought this one is that they kind of have a similar vibe going on and you might have seen my video. I did a little review and a style tutorial on this bag so this is definitely one of my favorite pieces in my Saint Laurent collection. I did have another bag. It was like a really beautiful pink one. I think they called it the Monogram Universal or University. I, I don't even remember but I ended up selling that little one. It was super cute but I just felt like I had outgrown the pink color and honestly I don't regret selling it one bit. 
vibrant blue sac de jour bag. It's so unique. You don't see anybody with this color blocking sac de jour. And I just, I don't know, I have this emotional attachment to it. This is the nano size. This piece is something that I wore a lot back in the day and I loved it. This is the teddy jacket. I remember finding it and just thinking, oh, try it on for fun. When it actually fit, I just immediately fell in love with it. Normally I go for like bold, obnoxious colors, like vibrant neon yellow. I do a lot of black. I love wearing black and white. And I just felt like this was a really good piece to have in my wardrobe. It just kind of creates a little bit of balance. The pink adds that femininity that my style needs. Sometimes they make these jackets in men's and in women's. And again, it's the color that just gets me. this amazing little sweatshirt. It is 100% cotton, so it's pretty lightweight. I think this will be great for spring, for fall, and maybe with a pair of shorts in the summer if it's not too hot. I just love that it is a really great classic. From stripes to polka dots, I remember when I first got them, I wore them out to an event with a little navy dress and it rained that day. So if you look closely, like some of the dye around the boot has come off, but otherwise they're in great condition. These boots are awesome and I love that I have these. Considering how much I love the whole rock and roll aesthetic behind YSL, I only have the two. These ones I got at the premium outlet and I tried them on for fun, not really thinking that round sunglasses would suit me, but right away I fell in love with these. I thought they were super cool. I took them over to my glasses guy who does all of my prescriptions and he filled these in with my prescriptions. The other pair that I have are these blue glasses. They kind of remind me of the Ray-Ban Way Wayfair. Is that what they're called? Kind of like retro chic. These are probably the glasses that I wear the most because they're very comfortable and they go with everything. This really awesome leather cuff. It has the YSL logo in the front and it's split down the center and you just kind of clasp this at the back. This was an unexpected purchase, just like the round sunglasses. I have a couple of leather bracelets like this Hermes one. I have a couple from Valentino and I just wanted one by YSL. These cute little pins are a set of three. It comes with this little heart with crystals, it comes with the cherry, and then this little YSL pin. You guys might remember this stunning jacket from my St. Laurent haul video. This was one of the most amazing scores, most amazing pieces that I never thought I would own that I just kind of came across at such a good price that I had to bring it home. Another piece that you guys have already seen in my collection is my no smoking jacket. This is such a fun piece. These are my wool trousers. They are pleated in the front. They are wide leg. This is like one of my favorite purchases of 2019 because I wear these at least once a week. So I have already probably gone through my cost per wear with these pants. They go with everything. When you love something, you find a way to wear it. Okay, I'm editing this video right now and I realized that I forgot to mention a couple of items, including buying another pair of the black trousers that happen to be on sale at Toronto Premium Outlet. So now I have two pairs of the same black trousers. I have a buffalo white plaid shirt that I forgot to mention, a mohair black sweater, which is from a fall winter collection. I also ended up getting a gray t-shirt with black stripes and a white simple classic t-shirt. But that is it. Those are my last five items in my YSL collection.
So that is my Saint Laurent collection. As you can see, there is a period of time where I was really buying a lot of like the whole rock and roll aesthetic. These days when I'm buying Saint Laurent, I'm more looking for less of the trendy pieces and definitely more of like the contemporary classics. So with the trousers, the leather jacket, the striped sweater, I think that those pieces are a lot more timeless than the other ones. Like this old style of sac de jour, which definitely looks more dated, but I still love it nonetheless. Such a good part of my style evolution as well. I really scaled back on the handbags because they became so trendy and so hot. There are a couple of items on my wish list, the pieces that I really would love to have in my collection to kind of fill the gaps. Number one, a black blazer. I have ones from Zara, but I want like a really beautiful timeless black blazer that will never age. And I would also love a stunning brooch that says YSL. I already have the little pin, but it's so little and I want something on a larger scale just to kind of create cars outside just to kind of create a statement. I feel like I'm pretty good. I'm pretty happy with my collection. They remind me of a lot of really cool memories. Um, they mean a lot to me. I want to keep like a little museum of that time in my life when I first started blogging and like really started to invest in my luxury closet. That is my video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.